This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost and some exclusive deals over at btech.com. Hey guys, welcome to BTEC. Basil here with an Acer Aspire Switch 10. The Aspire Switch 10 is a hybrid device, as you can see from the front. We got a hands-on with it in New York at its launch event. Now it's time to take you through an unboxing video. You can see on the front, it's just got a really simple styling. It's a nice flat pack box. And you can see on the left-hand side, all the different modes that you can actually use this thing. Tablet form, notebook, tent form and display form. So these are quirky little things that Acer have obviously spun off for marketing. Um, as to the utility, we'll take a look once we open it up. It's an Intel Atom chipset inside. It's a Z3745 um, chip and around the sides, nothing of note. Up at the top, nothing of note. On the back, you have got some key product information. So like we said, um, it's got an Intel Z3745 chip. It is running Windows 8.1 32-bit and it's the full version Windows 8.1 Pro LCD 10.1 multi-touch display, 2 gig RAM, uh, 32 gig internal memory. It's available in a 64 gigabyte variant as well. This thing's available from as little as 299 pounds. You can also expect to get a front-facing full HD camera and full office, home and student 2013 on board. So that's the Acer Aspire Switch 10 box. Now let's take a look inside and we can prize open that to reveal the device itself with some literature. So let's quickly take a look at the literature at the forefront. So it's a setup guide, heavy pictures, and it's all concertina format. You can see we can just very quickly cycle across. Nothing too crazy, but it's always nice to get some demonstrative pictures. You can also see um, some other information right here about power and we can take the actual Aspire Switch 10 out itself. What we'll do, we'll peel off the plastic and we will power it up. We can locate the power button to the left-hand side. And while it all powers up and the camera focuses, we'll put this to one side so we can finish taking a look inside the box the box contents but you'll be able to see that in the background now opening it up we can see there's a keyboard portion in the actual box itself and that's right here connecting not with a click mechanism that we used but with a magnetic mechanism and um, we'll take a close look at the hardware once we finish poking around inside the box so we have a power connector and it isn't going to charge with micro USB. Unfortunately, it's a proprietary charging connector, as you can see, with a power block right here. And we're assuming we'll have a UK connector here, which is the one that we're going to connect it to off the bat. So that's just by plonking it, I think it's in like so, and twisting it around. And then we have our UK connector. You do, in our box, also have a European connector, which suggests ours is the European version. We can finished taking a look inside the box Oops. to reveal some official uh, documentation. We can peel all this away and it looks like a user manual um, or something along those lines. You've got a quick start guide again, another quick start guide of sorts and you've also got warranty and warranty in all the languages. So that's all the documentation. One other thing that you do have is that key for Office Home and Student 2013. Now we can take a look at what you've been waiting for, the device itself, and you can see there's a sticker in the top left-hand corner. It's just reiterating stuff we've already seen, but it also draws attention to the fact you've got a zero air gap on this device, which is basically just the um, tech to ensure that you've got really great viewing experiences. With smartphones, we initially started seeing it on the HTC One X, for example. You've got the 10.1 inch display center stage right there. You've got stereo speakers either side of the base, so right there and right there, um, and front facing full HD camera as well. On the right hand side of the tablet portion, you've got a micro SD card slot, you've also got a microphone, micro USB port, HDMI, and that proprietary charger or 3.5 mil headphone jack. We're not entirely sure which one it is, reckon it's a charger. Down at the base, you've got the connector, magnetic connector, so that it can effectively pick up the dock portion and disconnect with a satisfying click. On the left hand side, waiting for the camera to get in focus, we can see a volume rocker power button. And this is what looks like the 3.5mm headphone jack with no buttons up at the top. On the flip side, 
you haven't got a rear facing camera so you just have that front facing camera and you've got an Acer insignia as well. So that's the actual keyboard uh, tablet portion. Now moving on to the keyboard, you've got some really decent travel on these keys. We noted that the keys actually felt pretty comfortable at the launch event itself. We typed a few sentences. It'll be really great to get this in for a full review so that we can let you know exactly how those fare in day-to-day -day use. Full-size USB port on the left-hand side of the base itself and on the uh, right-hand side, sorry, and on the left-hand side, no buttons whatsoever. The actual bottom of the device, nothing except for an indication you're running a Windows device. This doesn't have an extended battery in the keyboard portion like a lot of other hybrids do. Having said that, clip together it's a very comfortable looking tablet you can see not too skinny it has to be said but this is a pretty budget offering for 299 pounds and it doesn't look bad and the actual um, finish on here is a kind of cross hatched metal type finish even though it is plastic um, and the keyboard obviously is plastic as well but it does feel relatively solid we can open it up one more time to illustrate the various modes that Acer propagates you use this thing in the first being display mode Oops, like so we can bring the camera up slightly so that you can see that and you've also got tent mode which bring the camera down slightly so you can see that and finally you have got the actual mode you're going to be using it primarily Oops. standard laptop mode and tablet mode. So hopefully you've enjoyed, hopefully that has given you a bit of an insight into what you can expect within the box of the Acer Aspire Switch 10. If you've got any questions about the tablet, ping them in the comments section below. If you like the video, make sure you click like. If you like the channel in general, click subscribe. Head over to BTECH, over there you can find the latest in smartphones, tablets, smart gadgets, and some awesome deals as well. Thanks for watching. At the top of the screen is where you can find three hand-picked videos for your viewing pleasure. On the left is where you can subscribe and on the right hand side you can find some exclusive deals if you head over to btext.com.